Pastors across the country are joining in protest against the American Baptist College here in Nashville. News Channel 5's Andrea Klein Thomas tells us why their concerns are focused on a speech that happens in just an hour. Bishop Yvette Flunder is speaking during the Baptist College's annual lecture series about her HIV and AIDS ministry, but it's not what she's going to say, but who she is that's causing an uproar. That we serve the purpose of training leaders for community change, for the nation's change. The American Baptist College's history is rooted in confronting issues of social justice. Wherever there is a system that wants to exclude people from full participation in our society, we must do something about that, and we must do something about it through education. The National Baptist Fellowship of Concerned Pastors says that mission has gone too far. The National Baptist Fellowship of Concerned Pastors stands here this morning to protest against an invitation from the American Baptist College to Bishop Yvette Flunder to speak at this historic and prestigious Christian school. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Bishop Yvette Flunder founded the City of Refuge Church in California. That I am so grateful to have my partner and spouse. Flunder is a lesbian who is married with children. This same sex nonsense wants to preach in our holy place. The group of concerned pastors has asked the Baptist College to rescind Bishop Flunder's invitation to speak during its annual lecture series tonight, saying that homosexuality is not condoned in Christianity. Concerning the question of same-sex marriage, God has spoken and he didn't stutter. God's love includes them. The American Baptist College did not honor the pastor's request. We ought to be able to love all of God's creation and all of God's children in a way wherein our communities flourish. Each side is taking a stand in the name of the same God who was understood so differently. On March 12th, Bishop Flunder posted this message on her Facebook page saying in part, I will not bow to threats and intimidation. I stopped being afraid a long time ago when I realized that negative, angry, unfulfilled people are not in charge of my destiny. Now, News Channel 5's Jason Lamb is speaking with her now for a story you'll see tonight on News Channel 5 at 10.